I'm Michelle Bentley from Legal Suite Software, and today we are going to discuss setting up defaults for a transfer matter by using the snapshot function. This will enable you to capture matters uh, slightly more quickly because various things will be filled in for you by means of the defaults. Right, so from the matters screen, we will select the insert button, which will add a new matter to the system. And it is from this inserting a matter screen that we will make our selections, save them by using the snapshot button at the bottom of the screen. And each time you take on a new matter, these defaults will be there for you. Right, so the kind of defaults that we want to save are the ones that will be common to all of our transfer matters. Um, our client code, we will leave blank. Obviously, this is because each matter has a different client, a different seller. Our instructor date will automatically default to whatever our computer's date is. You can see here in the bottom right-hand corner, matches my instructor date. And this can be changed per matter by using the little calendar or by simply typing in the change of date. Right, the first default item we want to set is our fee sheet. As this is a conveyancing matter, we will click on the drop down arrow, and from the menu, we will select conveyancing. This means that each time you insert a matter, the conveyancing fee sheet uh, will be applicable to this particular matter. At the description field, this we leave blank as each matter has a different description because the parties vary from matter to matter. The reference field, this is automatically generated by the client code, so we don't touch that particular field. Belongs to, generally speaking, we're capturing our own matters, and as you can see, the belongs to ownership of the matter has been given to me, and if you cast your eyes to the bottom of the screen, it's because I am logged in um, as Michelle Bentley. Right, our next default we're going to set is our matter type. So clicking on the drop-down arrow, and from the menu, we will select conveyancing, as this is a conveyancing matter. On the right-hand side of the screen, as we are setting this default for specifically transfer matters, we are going to select the transfer document set. So from the drop-down arrow, scroll down until we find transfers. And there it is at the bottom. Okay. Now, cause of action. This will automatically jump to deceased estate sale, as this is what appears uh, alphabetically first on the list of causes of action. If you are a user that attends mostly to, to normal sales, you can simply select sale from the list. And if at any point you do attend to a different type of matter, which has a different causa or cause of action, you can always change this on the fly uh, for that particular matter. Our language, I'm going to leave my default as English. And as you can see, plan of action has automatically jumped to transfer when I selected the transfer document set. This effectively selects a predetermined list of diary entries at your reminder screen based on a 45-day turnaround for a first transfer. Extra screens and stages we don't use, and we can ignore all the rest of these fields because they are not, we're not going to set up any defaults uh, for those for a transfer matter. Right, to the accounting tab, there's a couple of things we just need to check here and set our defaults up. Remember in Legal Suite that cost center equals fee earner. So at the cost center tab, make sure that you have your correct fee earner. In this case, I'm going to set myself as the default fee earner. So I simply select myself from the drop down. And the other thing that you must make sure that you have selected correctly, especially if you're using it as a default, is your trust bank account. Okay, so you can see here I've used my FNB Trust account, and it's important that we get this default correct because these are the banking details that will appear on the performer account uh, for the buyer. Once you've made your selections under the general and the accounting screen, you can come down to the bottom here and click on the snapshot button as follows. A message will appear. This effectively says to you that by selecting the various defaults that you have, these will pop up each time and pre-fill various fields to assist you with taking on matters. So once you're sure that your defaults that you've selected are correct, you can click on yes, and the program will now have saved these particular defaults. So in order to test this, we'll close the screen, click on insert again, and there you can see the various defaults that are selected at fee sheet, matter type, document set, and plan of action on the general screen, 
and at accounting, my fee earner and my trust bank account.